Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the 2016 Calgary Stampede Western Legacy Awards. These awards are so incredibly special. They bring us together each year to recognize outstanding individuals in our community, people who have demonstrated significant achievement in promoting and preserving Western values. My name is Erin Strait, and it is my pleasure to be here with you tonight as we present the Western Legacy Awards in four categories. The finalists you will meet have proven they embody the values of hospitality, commitment to community, and pride of place through their service, their leadership, and passion for what they do. The Western Legacy Awards are made possible by the Western Legacy Awards Committee. Now I am happy to introduce to you the committee chair, Colleen Gertz. Thank you, Erin. Since the inception of the Western Legacy Awards 12 years ago, I'm proud to say that we've recognized more than 148 individuals and groups for their outstanding contributions to make a difference and uphold Western values within their communities. These are the people that work so hard to preserve our history for future generations. They champion causes to help societies vulnerable and make an impact in the lives around them. Western Legacy Award nominees are reviewed by a panel of independent adjudicators. We appreciate their participation, and no doubt there was quite a deliberation in this process. Every year, our Western Legacy Award committee is humbled and inspired by their stories. We appreciate the efforts of these community leaders. Now to share a few remarks, please help me welcome someone whose community P passion and spirit for the, for the Calgary Stampede is, is demonstrated on a daily basis. Please welcome President and Chairman of the Board, Mr. Bill Gray. Thank you, Colleen. It's a great pleasure to be here to celebrate the 12th Annual Western Legacy Awards. Calgary has a sense of community unlike any city in the world and our citizens embrace the values that are at the heart of these awards, and values which I believe are integral to the community spirit that enables and inspires so much in our city and in southern Alberta. A special thanks tonight to Chair Colleen and all of the other hard-working volunteers on the Western Legacy Awards Committee for making this annual event possible. The members of this committee, year after year, provide us with the opportunity to honour citizens and organizations like those nominated for tonight's awards and ensure that all of their hard work and efforts do not go unrecognized. All of tonight's finalists have demonstrated important achievements while promoting and preserving Western values, and in doing so have created a better community for all of us. As I read over the nominees' bios, I was struck by how fortunate we are to have all of these individuals and organizations in our community, and also by the many ways a person or an organization can have an impact and make a difference in the lives of so many people. My hat is off to all of the nominees tonight, and congratulations to all of you. Thank you for your vision, hard work, and inspiring initiatives. It's our pleasure to celebrate your achievements tonight. And to everyone joining us here, thank you for coming tonight, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mr. Gray. Now let's celebrate the recipients of this year's Western Legacy Awards. In the category of youth, our nominees are a group of truly inspiring young people who demonstrate an incredible level of volunteerism, compassion, and generosity. Let's get to know the nominees. Christina Azevedo is a dedicated leader and role model for volunteerism. As a member of the TD Youth Ambassadors, Children's Birthday Miracles, and many other organizations, she is an extremely active participant in her community. Feeling like I'm actually making change is really exciting, and I think it's just sort of become a real passion of mine. It's really cool to be a youth that is making a change and like an impact on the city. When I'm passionate about something, <laughs> I'm passionate about it. Uh, and I would definitely credit that to my volunteering at Youth Central because if you're committed to your community, then if you see an issue, then you are going to take initiative. 
Logan Fike is a generous 11-year-old with a passion for fishing. A school project is what prompted him to establish local business connections and apply his skills in fly tying, raising hundreds of dollars for Trout Unlimited. At school we were doing something called What Matters. Whatever community that you were in, you would try to positively enhance it. And I love fishing, so what I decided to do was tie my own flies and sell them and I would give all the proceeds to Trout Unlimited and uh, so I made a little diorama with tubs to hold my flies in and I got on the phone with Country Pleasures and asked if I could put my diorama there and he kindly said yes but also matched every donation so that was really generous. When you're really passionate about something and people see that, then they really want to help you with whatever you're going to do. Anayette Sidhu is an inspiration and mentor to many of Alberta's youth. She has a strong faith in teamwork and her dedicated volunteer efforts have earned her a spot representing Alberta in the Youth Ambassadors Program of Canada. Empowerment Canada is an organization that works to inspire and educate other women and young girls about kind of the opportunities that they have here in Canada. So if you surround yourself with people that are really passionate and are really driven, I feel that inspires you to be passionate and driven as well. Because there's always so many opportunities to get involved and to make a difference and to make an impact. With volunteering, there's a lot more areas that you can explore and there's a lot more ways that you can grow as a person. I guess that's what keeps me going is seeing how far you can go in your own organizations and what other things or other opportunities you will have and things that you're already a part of. The recipient of this year's Western Legacy Award in the youth category is Logan Fike. <laughs> Logan loves fishing and feels lucky to do so. Come on up, Logan. Yeah. <laughs> and feels lucky to do so. And mom, you gotta stop crying because you're making me cry up here. Another mom. He is proud to have supported Trout Unlimited in their work and is hoping to help with their fish saving event this fall. Logan has been bitten by the charity bug and will continue to become involved in other helpful initiatives. We are happy to see him take the lead in bettering our community. Logan has some new friends in the fishing world and is very pleased with the success of his project. A huge congratulations to you, Logan. We're here with Logan Fike, the winner in the youth category for a Western Legacy Award. First of all, Logan, congratulations. Thank you, yeah. That's pretty exciting. You're here and it's all because of a passion you had for fishing, really. Can you tell us a little bit for people who don't know about the program exactly what you did yeah so I really love fishing and uh, so I decided to tie my own flies yeah and uh, I would sell them at a fly fly shop called country pleasures okay and I gave all the proceeds to trout unlimited yeah so. what was it that made you that gave you that idea to do that and to give the money back well I've I've seen a lot of the things they do and it's really awesome like they they uh, they get the fish out of the irrigation canals and do a bunch of educational projects and just a bunch of great stuff like that now talking to you here someone might think you're 16, 17. In fact, you're only how old? 12. 12 years old, Logan Bike. Does your future have more of this in store, this kind of philanthropy? Yeah, for sure. A lot more volunteering with Trout Unlimited. Okay. And I don't know something like this exactly, but I'll for sure do more volunteering. And probably something to do with fishing. Yeah. yeah definitely sure. fishing. Logan Fike, our youth winner for the Western Legacy Awards. The next category of in is innovation. People who use new thinking, design, and operation to help improve the lives of others. This year, our Innovation Award nominees have identified fresh ways to approach issues and bring awareness of Western heritage in the community in so many ways. Let's get to know the nominees. Warren Cummins has been promoting, teaching, and living Canadian history and music throughout his entire career. 
This unique combination has driven him to create a program for young musicians through the Northwest Mounted Police Commemorative Association. The Northwest Mounted Police Commemorative Association Brass Band, we started with the idea that we were going to recreate a period band in the way they dress, the way they march, and the, and the, and the style of music that they play. We are a volunteer band, and uh, so we do an awful lot of performances uh, as a community service to be able to come full circle and bring it back to the Stampede and, and, and honor the traditions of what we have in our community. I'm still pretty humbled by the whole experience. I love that moment when you see people have those, the lights go on and they have those aha moments. I mean, for me as a teacher, it is my driving passion for sure. Charles MacMichael. For the past four years, he has organized an unofficial gay pride event at the Calgary Stampede, providing a safe and supportive space to the LGBTQ community. His efforts have brought out the true spirit of Calgary and our communities. It's just nice to have something else that's set up to service the LGBT community, but want to enjoy Western heritage and culture and, and feel comfortable doing it. So. It started off with a buddy of mine, Mitch. He used to just do like a breakfast with friends and then go out. He just thought a lot of people were not going to Stampede that maybe could have been. I think the first year there might have been 25 of us and then last year there was over 450. Um, I think it's pretty important for some people. Uh, I've heard from people over the years that it's something to them that makes them feel more a part of the Calgary community. We don't need to have those four walls around us anymore to keep us safe. Um, hopefully, or to feel like we can be ourselves. But I think Calgary is a great city. I've enjoyed living here. That's why I do this event. That's why I put the effort in and, and, and want to be a part of it. Darby Young, through her volunteer work with the City of Calgary Advisory Committee on Accessibility, and later with her own company, Level Playing Field, Darby has shown her commitment to making Calgary accessible to everyone. Level Playing Field is an accessibility agency. We work with architects, designers, property managers, anybody who owns a space, uh, we work with them to make sure it's accessible. The biggest thing is, is breaking down barriers, making sure that everybody feels inclusive, making sure that everybody's welcome. The city's rolled out quite a few accessibility projects over the last couple years. A lot of them I was a driving force behind. Our ultimate goal is to make Calgary the most accessible city in Canada. We want to have the equal opportunity to get everybody in through the main door and treated fairly. The, recipients of, the recipient of this year's Western Legacy Award in the innovation category is Darby Young. For more than 10 years, Darby has been a valuable volunteer with the Cerebral Palsy Association in Alberta. She has volunteered her time with the World Professional Chuck Wagon Association, Canadian National Women's Hockey Team, and the Calgary Corporate Challenge. Darby applies her lived experience to help remove barriers and make the world all inclusive. Darby is a great example of the entrepreneurial spirit of Calgary, and Darby has been said to turn advocacy into action, and this is one of the many reasons we recognize her today. Congratulations, Darby. Western Legacy Award winner Darby Young joins us. Darby, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. So exciting now. World Chuck Wagon Association, Calgary Corporate Challenge, Cerebral Palsy Association. Is there anyone you don't volunteer for, Darby? Uh, really, there isn't. Uh, for the last year, I've really been involved in Crew Calgary, which is com uh, commercial real estate okay. uh, women's group. So it's really helped me with my business, especially in getting getting the voice out about accessibility and letting people know that I'm here because we're the only firm in Alberta that does uh, the work that I do. Wow, that's amazing. So something to be very proud of. When you um, talk to other young people, maybe younger than yourself, who are either trying to take on some of those things that seem a little daunting or hard to do, or just want to volunteer and give back to the community but don't know where to begin, what's yeah. your advice to them? Oh, absolutely. Like, 
get involved. It's it's all about asking the question and trying to to, to make a name for yourself. Uh, if it wasn't for me going to the Stampede and asking, you know, to to be part of different committees and working on gates when I started at 14, you know, I wouldn't be where I was. And unless you ask, you don't get anywhere. So really good advice. What does being recognized here tonight mean to you? Oh, it means everything in the world. As somebody who grew up in Calgary, sorry. No, that's okay. Um, I started on Gates when I was 14, wow. and it was Stampede that gave me my first job. So this is really personal to me. So it's um, it's a big deal, and it's a big deal because it also shows individuals with disabilities that we can actually get out and participate and be involved in the community. And contribute yeah. a whole lot, a whole bunch. That's so great. Darby yeah. Young, one of our winners here of the Western Legacy Awards. The nominees in the sustained contribution individual category have shown commitment year after year to a rich history and creating a more dynamic future. All of these people embody the Stampede values every day. Let's get to know some more nominees. Robert Anderson represents a lifetime commitment to sharing his love of horses and the beauty of Alberta. He and his family run the Anderson Valley Ranch, a year-round camping and seasonal riding facility that allows Albertans to connect with our amazing province. I had to break horses for my dad when I started off. I got into the rodeo deal and the boy steer riding and carried on from there. And I was 14 months old when I rode in my own horse in the, in the first Calgary Parade. And then the following year, I had to have the same horse with uh, two saddles on it. I had a brother behind me. The people that come through the gate are important, so they want to treat them well. They want to make sure they leave with a smile on their face. That's what it's all about. That's what life's about. And that's what Calgary's about, too. Jeanette King has been at the heart of the community. She's served in education, the arts, healthcare, and sports for over 47 years. She demonstrated innovation and an entrepreneurial spirit when she led the creation of the first ever Olympics education program. Well, my family has always come first for me. Since I chose to be a stay-at-home mom, I decided that community service was going to be the way that I would make a contribution. To be a volunteer, uh, it benefits twofold. First of all, uh, it benefits the community where you dedicate hours towards an interest that you have, um, but it also benefits the individual. You feel more part of your community. Uh, you know that uh, your work has benefited others and have a very good feeling of putting your efforts towards making a better community. Dr. Lucy Miller has led the United Way of Calgary and Area as president and CEO for almost five years. She spearheaded record campaigns exceeding $55 million to support focused community investments and social innovation in our city. United Way, uh, I think the biggest thing that we do is we try to bring people together around the Im issues that are impacting on our community. We don't do anything alone. We do things as part of a group. I've been blessed to work with strong, smart people, great volunteers in wonderful organizations. And it's why when I came to Calgary, I knew I had found my place. Pride of place is when you find your place and you know that you don't have to look any further. I love the people here. I love the culture here. I love the can-do attitude here. I love that about our city. I've never seen anything like it. It's powerful. There's, we can do lots on our own, but together there's nothing we can't do. The recipient of this year's Western Legacy Award in the Sustained Contribution Individual category is 
Robert Anderson. For the past 20 years, Robert has been a driver for the Calgary Stampede Antique Show Wagon at parades across North America. You can always count on him to take the time to share stories about life in Alberta. He will light up whenever he gets the chance to help a child experience a real horse for the very first time. He loves to share his knowledge and answer questions with anyone who asks. Robert and his family own and run the Anderson Valley Ranch in Water Valley, Alberta. He just loves to share the trails with his family and friends. Congratulations, Robert. We're here with Robert Anderson, another winner from tonight's Western Legacy Awards. First of all, Robert, tell us what it means to be recognized this evening. It's very nice to be recognized for all the their all their work through the years. To be recognized for it is, is pretty, it's pretty special. It's pretty special. You're a pretty special person now, Robert. You love to share your Western heritage and Western values with people who maybe don't know much about the Western lifestyle. Why is that so important? It's, a, it's an important way of, of life. It's, it's been my whole life. And I think, like a fam my, my family, I'm a second generation, and I've started my, the third and the fourth. My, even my grandkids are doing it. You know, so, and I mean, ride, uh, you, the bonding with the animal, you have the, the bonding with the animal plus the nature where you're riding. It's a good feeling, and it's a good feeling for the inside. Wonderful. Robert, thank you again, and congratulations. Thank you. Robert, another one of our Western Legacy Award winners from this evening. And now, last but not least, it's time to present the finalists in the Western Legacy Award Sustained Contribution Group category. Let's get to know these nominees. In From the Cold is a social service agency providing shelter, sanctuary, and healing for homeless children and families. It is the only family emergency shelter currently operating in the province of Alberta. For almost 20 years, In From the Cold has been providing shelter, sanctuary, and healing to homeless children and their parents. It, for us, begins the moment a family walks through our doors. We don't work in isolation. We currently have over 40 partners and we all hold hands together and commit to these families that we're gonna take care of them and then we're gonna find a place to live. We're gonna end their homelessness and that this will be the last time that they see the inside of a homeless shelter. To return hope where there was no hope, um, there is no stronger statement about what Calgary and what Alberta is capable of and it, it's, it brings everything down to a level of humanity. Um, it's a very proud moment for our organization. The Sharp Foundation has been providing unconditional care to Calgarians with complex health and social issues for over 25 years. It supports people in five facilities, offering everything from 24-7 medical care to peer mentoring for independent living. The Sharp Foundation provides really compassionate and integrated care for people who have complex health and social needs. It's mental health, it's addictions, it's brain injury, it's diabetes, it's cancers, it's aging, it's homelessness. In some cases, there just isn't any other place, so um, they come to Sharp. It's all about being there in the moment, being totally non-judgmental, and just providing compassionate care. We're seeing them happy. In some cases, the unfortunate thing is sometimes it's happy for the first time in their lives. For, for many of the, the clients that are referred to us, this is the first home they've ever had. I think Calgary, like in terms of the agencies we work with, that we partner with, etc., it's, it's one of those cities where, you know, let's just get things done. Youth Central is a model for community service and a go-to agency for communities and schools in Calgary. More than 120 partner agencies have come to rely on Youth Central as the source for enthusiastic and skilled youth volunteers. Youth Centre is all about engaging youth in the community, giving them opportunities to be leaders, giving them opportunities to volunteer and give back. We have about 2,000 or so youth volunteering through Youth Central right now. They're helping about 120 or so community agencies. So we are in high demand right now and our volunteers are loving it and being part of the community is so special to them. 
They are so proud of how they help other people. They are so proud of what they can accomplish. They know the impact that they made on somebody else's life. Youth are so important and they have so much more that they can give and shouldn't be underestimated. The recipient of this year's Western Legacy Award in the Sustained Contribution Group category is In From the Cold. Except, accepting on behalf of In From the Cold is Neil Smith. Now this organization has been in operation for over 20 years. It began as a faith-based movement of local churches that saw a need to provide shelter to homeless families. In From the Cold is known for its long-standing history of providing care and opportunity to those in need. Along with shelters that provide immediate comfort for families in need, the organization runs sporting initiatives and early childhood development programs. The hope is to add 25 additional units to their roster by 2018. Congratulations, In From The Cold. Western Legacy Award recipient, In From The Cold, Janine Webb joins us now. Janine, first of all, the In From The Cold has been in operation for 20 years. We are celebrating and reflecting on our 20th anniversary next year. That's amazing when a lot of people know some of the things In From The Cold does for the community, but probably not all of the things. What are some of the things you're still surprised to find out that people didn't know that you guys do? Well, I think one of the big things is that a lot of people don't know that we have a, a large shelter on 11th Ave, just a couple of blocks away from the Stampede grounds, and that in that shelter, each and every night we make space for 120 homeless children and their families and when we go over capacity which we often do we open up other buildings so that no family and no child is left without a safe place um, to sleep this evening and many evenings ahead now we know that the economy has been a little bit rough lately are you guys seeing that in the numbers of the people that are coming almost oh, definitely there's a vice grip on the city and uh, our shelter is usually uh, one of the first places is you're going to see these kind of challenges play out. But we've been in the city for 20 years and Calgarians have rallied behind us for all of that time. And so we are confident in, in our endeavors and in our passions that we'll be able to work ourselves out of business someday, hopefully in the very near future. Hopefully. What does this award, what will this award mean to all the members of your team at In From The Cold? Well, we've long known that Calgarians have been behind the work that we've done and we certainly have felt firsthand the passion this city has for helping those less fortunate and most vulnerable. And so to win an award that is uh, offered to us in the spirit of everything that Calgary and Alberta stands for is a true, true honor. And, and we are so honored to have been nominated with uh, Youth Central and the Sharp Foundation as well because of the great work that they do. Honestly, it's, it's a tremendous honor and I know our staff is going to be uh, thrilled with it. Awesome. Well, very well deserved. Thank you for Thank doing you this. Much. Congratulations. The winner of the Western Legacy Award in the Sustained Group category this year. Thank you all so much for helping in presenting Western Legacy Awards to some amazing people this year. Before we close the evening, I'd like to acknowledge those who have helped in making this evening possible. The Western Legacy Awards Committee, the T. Buckley Trio, Shaw Communications, Glue Studios and Range Road Media, Olson Silver Company, PSAV, Wear Calgary Magazine, and of course, Smith Belt Hats. Thank you to all of you here tonight for joining us. And remember, submissions for next year are now open. If you know of someone who should be recognized, please visit calgarystampede.com slash WLA for more details. Congratulations again to all of our nominees and recipients. It has been an absolute pleasure being your host tonight. For the Calgary Stampede and Shaw TV, I'm Erin Strait. Good night.